Oh my god, why is the camera... Okay. <sighs> Was this the end of the f stage, too? Did I die right at the end, so I'm gonna get, like, an E? You want to see Aerith get stabbed in HD, you monster. Fair. Or should I say Fareth? Mumble, mumble, bumble, bumble, whisper, whisper, phew. We made it to the town of One Piece. That last time was scary. Went toast, you were nuts. Why you gotta be so afraid, eh? Why a run? Sorry, I... Next time, I'll try harder. Well, hello again. Uh, another stranger. What do we do now? Take a good look. We met at this guy before. You talked to us, eh? But, but I... And I'm not good at... Uh, I'm so sorry! Ah, where are you going? Waiting for me! Is there any reason for me to even talk to these people right now? Uh, how do I check? Whoa. You good, buddy? Oh, Sonic, what's going on? That is certainly a development. Oh, it fixed. Oh, it broke. Uh, okay, there's still a night one here. I know you, you're... Who are you again? Also, the snowman, just like... Because you're not supposed to talk to him from that angle, I guess. Nighttime bullshit, where are you? The sub music's very pretty, by the way. There it is. I don't know if we can do anything with this yet, unless we can play the nighttime stage, which I'm gonna have to remember the freaking controls. Uh, yeah, I can definitely, I think setting up Aerith's death even worse would be great, but I, I don't know if they're gonna have Sephiroth take it away. I kind of think they're gonna have uh, Aerith herself do that. Go! Holy fuck, that's so loud, dude. Sorry, I'm checking to make sure my mic's not picking this shit up, man. It's like kind of picking up the woo a little bit. Like a smidge. But not... I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's very low on it, so it should be okay. Is this game too fucking loud? Do I need to turn it down more? Let me know, please, because it seems really loud. God damn, Sonic, you're loud as hell. Doesn't seem too loud for you guys, at least. That's good. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna listen to this turn down one more notch. I'm gonna have to leave my TV down, man. I have it at fucking five. I usually leave it at like eight. Yeah, a stage would be appropriate. Sounds all right. Here, I'm gonna turn it down one more decibel. <laughs> Just so it's like a little bit quieter because the stages are gonna get louder. I turn this down way more than I usually, you know, turn stuff down, so. Camera. Ooh, Sun Metal. Damn, he fast as fuck. Oh, we just, oh my god, I'm so happy that we have this stage actually uh, already accessible because it's fantastic. I gotta see if I gotta move my camera, though. I don't know if we just want to block the, the rings and stuff at the top left. Nah, that looks okay. As long as you guys think it looks okay. God damn, zoomy boy, zoom! Was it getting my boost? Weird. Shit. Okay, I gotta not try to do cool speedrun stuff because this game is not ugh, very responsive. Yeah, I really want to play the 60 FPS version of this. 
But for now, I'll just play the Unleashed uh, mod on Generations where you can play the stages. Obviously, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I just finished playing Frontiers. So, oh shit, I forgot about that metal. So this is hurting my eyes and hurting my hands. This game obviously looks really good for when it came out, but like... It's not very finely textured. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's from like 2008, right? Oh my god, I missed. Oh, hell yeah. Made it. Got that medal. You guys are ready for like the coolest part of the game? I actually always had a huge soft spot for this part. Uh, not, not this specifically, but oh shit. But when you kind of like get out of here. I don't know why. It's just one of the parts of the game that stuck with me. It's so pretty. Fuck, dude. This part's so cool. Pun entirely intended. Yeah, for what is just a roller coaster platformer, goddamn. Even even with it being unresponsive, it's so fun. Anyway, is it too loud, by the way? <laughs> now that we've actually done a stage. Ah, uh, what? I got robbed. Can I do this yet? Oh, we still don't have the wall jump. I guess you get it from uh, the rooftop run stuff, I think. Music. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I'm really happy that they made the freaking homing attack a different button than boost. Finally, or boost, I guess, a different button from the homing attack. God damn, boy go zoom fast, brain go burr. God damn, I love this theme. Obviously the music, in the, I mean music in Sonic games always slaps, but I really have a soft spot for some of the themes in this game. I wanted that one up, no. Yes, that's so easy to miss, let's rock. If you notice how I didn't jump, it's because it didn't get my input. Oh, oh, I'm getting war flashbacks to trying to 100% this game. But yeah. Seems good. That's good, because it's loud. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I thought I found a good... Oh, fuck yeah. It's hard to get S ranks in this game until you have all your abilities, you know? I'm assuming we can't do the nighttime stage. Also, oh, I'm not looking forward to the nighttime stage. Oh, that's amazing. You know what? For a Sonic game in 2008 to tell you that you gotta go somewhere else? That's pretty good. Oh, Silver, did you notice my, my nerdy grandpa glasses? Because I needed new glasses. If you want, I'll show you how thick they are. Because I'm blind as fuck, boy. Oh, shit. <clears throat> it's weird that I have access to the DLC stuff, but haven't beaten the game? If I saw that right? Okay, what are we missing in here? Oh my god, there's a multitude of metals. Oh, the, that's right, the area was, like, blocked off. Mumble, mumble. Phew, I can't believe we ran all this. <laughs> they ran all the way here. Wentos, you've got to get over this. Eh, we're never gonna sell a thing. But, but how? Here, real quick. I'll show you how thick they are. Because I'm... So the I only have one friend, it's my brother, that is more blind than me by, like, a little bit. They thick, dude. They thick as fuck. They are very thick. Anyway, I can uh, actually see <laughs> and read things now. I don't have to squint anymore. It was a very, very long time coming, so I'm super thankful that we finally got some new ones. I've actually needed them for like five years. And also good news, I was kind of worried that I had hurt my eyes because it had been so long, but my eyes are actually very healthy still. So thank God for that. 
That is one low res ass pot. Uh... What are we doing, Sonic? What, what are we finding? A, a metal? Is this just a shortcut rail? Where for art thou? Metals. Metal? Not metal Sonic, but metals? Okay, there's one over there. Hey, Chip. Um, okay, we're missing one. I think it's up here. I think I remember. Unless it's maybe that there's one up here for for Sonic to wear, Hog. Hmm. I'd prefer to find this before we progress, because we really you need these to progress. So I always go out of my way to, you know, grab these. That's the one I already got, which is kind of nice. It's, it's there for completionist videos. Oh, I thought I did that before, but I guess I didn't. All right, Professor. The professor's not here. Oh, okay. Uh, I do. Dude, I thought the game crashed. I was say I do appreciate that the loading screens are the transformation. You know, make your loading screens interesting. That's the thing with this game. A lot of love did go into it. It just. Didn't have enough time. Sonic, I've been looking for you forever. Hey, let me go. <laughs> You're crazy if you think you can get away from Amy Rose and um. Who are you? Uh. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I just completely mistook you for someone else. That is so strange. I could have sworn it was him. Anyway, I'm really sorry. See you later. I've always liked the bit, but it's really funny and Wait, sad. That was weird. How come that girl didn't know you were you, Sonic? I mean, I guess you are kind of, you know, and uh, these guys. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, d don't worry. Hey, you only look really scary, Sonic. Inside <laughs> the same as ever. I guarantee it. Okay, Sonic, <sighs> cheer up. Uh, chocolate. Want some chocolate? I think that's actually a good scene, honestly. I love the fact that he is very clearly upset about it. Can I not? Okay. Where for art? Some coins. Camera, I'm gonna humbly ask you, don't do that again. That hurt my eyes. There's one. Ugh. Still think this should have just been Knuckles. Make Knuckles a beat him up. I'd play it. It's sad because I don't actually think the Werehog stuff is that bad. It's just the game is so. I didn't even get my double jump there. It's so unresponsive. How many are even here? Oh, oh I'm only missing one. It's probably in the locked off stuff. Probably in here. I'm impressed. Up here, maybe? Because I can make this? Oh, camera. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I was about to say, it looked like I had already picked it up. Or, I'm sorry, that I did not pick it up, but I'm like, that one was... I always check there. I'm never going to remember where all these stupid things are. Uh, oh, shit. This one's not even hidden. Oh, my God. No wonder. I already have it. Uh, hot. Shit. Hmm.
I could have sworn there was something up here at some point. Now I'm starting to think I'm just missing something blatant and obvious. Allie, what are you doing? try to keep an eye out. <clears throat> I think I gotta try. I actually have to think and use my my eyes now that I can see and they're unclouded by hate. Oh, the camera. Oh, oh. It must be super either really well hidden or insanely obvious for me to be missing it to this degree at this point. I'm double checking. Three or four. I'm like, before, let's just make sure that I didn't accidentally pick one up. You know what? Maybe it's, like, in a corner like this, because I didn't even turn around when I was coming down here. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if it's, like, back at the start and just one of those ones that's, like, right behind some dude... Yeah, something super obvious, right? <clears throat> I'm Professor. Sonic. With part of the planet restored, I've been able to locate two temples. According to the Gaia manuscripts, there is a temple here in Spagonia. You would have imagined uh, who would have imagined one was hiding so close the second location is Holoska, my boy <laughs> oh so you've already been to Holoska, have you oh i see couldn't get inside the temple hmm well no matter you can start by looking into the spagonia site well then do you have any further questions i don't even have any <clears throat> Nah, I'm good. I'm sure you'll have the planet back in one piece in no time at this rate. Oh, and don't forget to bring us a souvenir of three while you're out. Okay, but is it rooftop run time or is it a unnecessarily long beat em up stage with incredibly unresponsive controls? Uh oh. Thinking it's, uh. Well, it might be both. I don't really remember. The, I do not remember the order of this game at all. I just remember that Eggman Land is last and second to last, I guess, is, uh, what is it? Uh, the the uh, Autobot, I think, is what it's called. Like the Mayan ruin kind of looking one. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> I do wish that his quills were longer in, in, in uh, Frontiers, but he looks great. So I'll take what I can get. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that kid's bike. Uh. Oh, man. Where do we get the wall jump? Probably here, now that I got the Holoska thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I love how there's just, like, half springs on them. How do I... But I can't wall jump. Uh. Oh, there's a fully, like, blatantly obvious. Fully. Oh! Oh, I. The game gave me it. I'll be honest. I didn't deserve that, but gimme. <sighs> wall jump shoes are just springs. Which I guess kind of makes sense, actually, because Sonic Springs? Like. The franchise's springs? I don't know. I remember what's down there. Uh, 
Come on. Oh, and we don't have the ring dash yet. <clears throat> but we can grab this stuff. Where are you taking me? Nice. Is this an extra stage? Okay. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I only have to do that twice, and that is the amount of times I'm going to do it. <clears throat> okay, so... It seems like we're doing nighttime first. Unfortunate. I would kill to play Rooftop Run, but at least we got to do... Um, I can't uh, remember the name of it, but Holoska's stage already. It felt good to immediately come back to a actual Sonic stage. Now I'm just going to suplex my way, and I don't remember Nose Dive Bomb... Lariat? I don't remember the name of the move. That little thing he does where you grab people in the air. I don't remember how to do it. It's been a minute, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and so begins the long trek. Sonic, I need you to pick him up. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Oh, do I hold it down? Thought it was a mash. <laughs> Throwing the dude into the box is pretty funny. <laughs> broken move is broken. Uh, what's block? Ah, oh, I don't remember how to do... Hmm, we'll figure it out. It's cool. I th I'm assuming it's the grab button. I just accidentally didn't hit it. Uh, what do we have? How many upgrades? I, like, don't upgrade modern Sonic at all at first, because you really just need all this stuff for, uh, the Werehog to make him, one, not die, and two, do damage, and three, be fun. Because when he starts getting stuff, he's kind of fun, but it's not fun at first. But I will stand by the fact that this should have just been Knuckles. That's it. Even if it was a mutated Knuckles, should have been Knuckles. So, those are breakable. I need to keep... Oh my god, the camera, please. Anything back here? I'm just gonna steal everybody's stuff and your life savings. Okay, I think we got everything down here, maybe. But I didn't notice those doors at first. Okay, I think we're good. Camera, please. Thought I saw something over there. Oh my god, I forgot about the camera. With uh, this. Ugh. I'm gonna try very hard not to touch the analog stick. Yeet! Oh, we have the slam. Assuming we do not have... Yeah, we don't have Fists of Fury. The fuck? Oh, uh, some piece of rubber just, like, fell off my controller and scared me. I thought it was a bug. I love you too, Allie, but my chair... You think I won't get that? I think I won't. Yeah. Give me this movie. Book? I actually thought that was the one of the cassette that gave 
Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about La Bamba? La Bamba! <laughs> well, I'm doing too much damage, what? I really wanted to execute that guy, but, you know, I'll take that too, I guess. Ow. Damn it! Mashing! What's up, Samurai? Welcome back. Yeah, look, it should have been Knuckles, but that move is hilarious. Don't do that. That's cute. I don't remember that animation. Oh my god, I forgot that the QTEs like spawn 25% done. Really wish we had a rush attack. It would make breaking things much faster. Okay. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything in this room. This room looks barren. Oh my god. I gotta not, like, not touch the analog stick, dude. Oh, the right stick, anyway. Okay, so I have, like, no health, though. I think Frontiers is like a test game to see what they can do in an open world game. Make way for Adventure 3. Maybe. I know that, um... Shit. All of a sudden I forgot his name. Uh, the current, like, you know, producer. Uh, I forget his name all of a sudden. Um, has talked about wanting to... Oop. Has talked about wanting to do Adventure 3. And they, they did say that Frontiers is kind of like Adventure and will kind of set the way for the next, you know, few Sonic games. So, I hope. I think it'd be really fun to have an ensemble game again. It's about fucking time. But at the very least, it is going to influence the next games. I just don't know about, like, Adventure 3, even though he said that he would like to do it. But we'll see. This uh, Frontier sold really well, so... It's going to take something really, really big to break down that fence. Hey, come here. Oh, man. The mash is strong in me, and I apologize for it. The unresponsiveness of this game sometimes. However, <laughs> barely got to even see it. Allie, there's no room for you right now, my dude. Oh, that move is so sick. It's also really good for low level. Wait, oh no, my XP. <laughs> it went into the wall. It's the new way Sega's going with Sonic. Yeah, but it's good. I do think we're going to get another ensemble game. I just don't know if we'll get another adventure game. They might just call it something different. and It's like a spiritual adventure. You know, kind of like what 06 was trying to do, but there was a lot of other things that happened with that game, unfortunately. But uh, either way, I'm I'm really happy with uh, with Frontiers overall. So I'm hoping they just, like we talked about earlier, hoping they just improve upon it. That's it. I think that would be a great idea. Even if they don't make an actual Adventure 3, because I, I don't think they have to. As long as it's a game that's like, if that makes sense. I think they're going to do a game that is just Adventure 3, but it's not called that. If that makes sense, that's what I think. If they did actually do it, though, just for the sake of, like, people have been asking for that for so long, I'd give them points for sure, like brownie points, because people have wanted that. I'm not one of the people that's like, I love Adventure, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, Sonic Heroes and was practically Adventure 3 just because of the story. Oh. Well, no, six was supposed to be. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, can I grab a bomba on this dude? Oh. No way, dude. Not my bomba.
That took all of my block gauge, bro. You wanted to eat me? I'll give you ingestion. I don't know, some dumb shit Sonic would say. Honestly, I love when Sonic's just like, you want to eat me? Bring it on! And then he just, like, lets himself get eaten and murders them. For, he just murders them from the inside out for some reason. That is a thing they think is okay in a kid's game. Yeah, I don't... I, I love Sonic Colors. I get why people don't like it, though. And it's honestly because of the 2D stuff. And it's not that it's bad, but it's, like, so much 2D stuff, you know? And the game's kind of easy. But I really like it. I it's it's the best way to explain it is actually like Frontiers. It was setting the, the the road for like the next game, and I still thought it was really good. The next game in terms of gameplay is better. Colors has better like well, I don't know, Generations has really great content, so I, it's hard for me to it's hard for me to actually say I really like both, but for kind of different reasons. But I I'm one of those people, I love colors. I'm really disappointed in Colors Ultimate because like I, I don't think it's awful by any means. But there's a few things that, that still don't work, you know? They definitely fixed it up since launch. But there's a few things that they never fixed, and I'm just like, what the... I wanted it to be like, why would I ever play the one on the Wii? That's how those re-releases should be, but... Of some of my favorite little... Just, because, I, you know, I'll play... I'll, I'll do, like, speed runs as much as I'll do... Oh my god, that QT is so fast. Um, speed runs as much as I'll just do, like, little fun runs. Like, my own little path I've laid out for just fun. Doesn't matter about the rank or the speed or anything. Uh, and some of them don't work. Like, no shit don't work in Color's Ultimate, which was terrible. Yeah, I get, I, I get that. I don't mind the 2D sections if they're unique to modern Sonic, if that makes sense. Like, I would prefer the game to be fully 3D. Frontiers was so close to that. But Frontiers at least does the 2D stuff in a way that feels like it's modern Sonic just in 2D. So the games that do it well are... are... Colors does it okay, funny enough. It doesn't actually do it that great. Uh, this game and Generations and, weirdly, uh, Frontiers... Actually, to some extent, as much as I don't want to, like, praise Forces at all, Forces 2D stuff isn't that bad. But this the 2D modern Sonic stuff in those games is not bad. Like, I, I like it. It feels like modern Sonic stuff instead of just classic Sonic, but zoomy. But as much as I, you know, feel that way, I still think that they should just make the game completely 3D. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of dudes. A woo the wolf. Dude, that, that tombstone, I don't even know, pile driver, suplex, death, lariat from the air is amazing. It's one, it's good. Two, it's hilarious. A new, yeah, a new, cla a new actual, like, classic Sonic game with just modernized graphics instead of, and I'm not saying that Mania looks, oh, it looks old or bad. No, Mania looks amazing, right? But it would be cool to see like the Frontiers engine or, or something make a 2D classic Sonic game and have the physics work. I want to be very clear on that. The physics need to work, please, because I don't want another... They work pretty good in Generations. There's just a few hiccups, right? But in Sonic... Uh... In Sonic Forces, dude. Classic Sonic and Sonic Forces is terrible, man. They, like, didn't even finish his physics, so it hurts my soul. There's, in, they, in fact, they put springs in certain parts of that, uh, in some of the levels to, like, specifically be like, oh, he should be able to do this with the spin dash or something, right? But it doesn't work, so they put a spring there instead, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like that. I'm being as nice about it as I can, uh, right now, but I was pissed about it back when, uh, when I first found out about it. I was, like, I was fuming. 
And I get it. It's not, it's, I want to, I want to uh, say something in particular. I've said it before on the channel and, and like update videos and stuff about like Frontiers when it was coming out. Don't blame, I, I, I can't stress this enough. It's hard for like younger people to understand. And don't get me wrong, to some extent, sometimes Sonic Team makes mistakes. There are people, it happens. But if you want to actually place blame on like why, there's two things. Why some Sonic games are really like divisive and different and weird and or unfinished. It's a mix of fans. Not, not really that much them, but it is a little bit because the fan base is like really demanding about a wide variety of things. But they're like a small part of it. If you want to blame somebody, and I, I can't, I don't want to make it sound mean, but it is Sega. Sega don't let, uh, they do not let Sonic Team delay their games most of the time. And thank God they delayed Frontiers once because that could have been rough if that game had uh, not, like, because it still has problems and it's still unfinished to some extent. So I can't imagine what would have happened if it had not gotten that delay. But I hope that in the future, Sonic Team is able to be like, hey, you let us delay Frontiers and it came out better and it sold well. So maybe let us do that again if we need to. Because dude, Sega's like, it's weird because they're not like this with any other IP, right? They own a lot of other really high tier, high quality IPs. But with Sonic, they're like, well, it's a kid's game. Sonic's fan base is more toxic than Mario. I Sonic fan base is probably one of the most toxic ones there is in general. It's pretty bad. And part of why is because they ask for so many different things that then the franchise becomes this big amalgamation of multiple mechanics, which I, I do like and I think that's endearing, but it kind of loses focus sometimes. That's why this the Werehog's even in this game. It's because they wanted like beat em up stuff again and shit happens you know because there has been beat-em-up stuff in sonic games before mostly with adventure and heroes but mostly heroes to be honest was the most uh most beat-em-up like if we want to call it that just for the power characters really uh but yeah if you want to ever like i just i don't know i used to blame i shouldn't say blame uh that sounds so mean but i, I used to have some ill will you know a little bit a little like oh man why can't you guys you know do this and make this game better, or why is it run bad and stuff like that with with Sonic Team when I was younger, but I, I've come to sort of realize that like, don't get me wrong, some of the things that happen, it's, it, it's their responsibility for sure. But as a whole, it, it's definitely a weird like, <sighs> Sega's just like, no, the game's gotta come out by this time. It's gonna sell cause it's Sonic and they thought about, they thought that way for a really long time. Case in point is Sonic 06. That game was nowhere. This game at least just like has some responsiveness problems, right? Like it's finished otherwise. It just runs bad. You know, it's not optimized. But Sonic 06 is broken. Uh, not to go on a on a tangent, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Bop. Feet of Fury. I need some XP. I actually got to start executing people more often because <clears throat> I think they give you more XP for it. I could be wrong, but you know, I'm going to let go of this guy. Actually, I want the, X uh, the XP. Damn, that guy sure waited a minute and a half, bud. I mean, it's a kid's game, to be fair. My XP... Yeah, if, if 06 had, I've said this before on the channel, actually, I think if they had just finished the game, there would still be issues. I think some of the story stuff's awful. It's mostly Sonic, <laughs> but you know, and, and the, and it has the same issue I have with Sonic Heroes. I love Heroes, but the fact that you're going through slightly varied versions of every stage rather than, if they were more varied, it would be fine, but they're very similar versions of the same stages. Uh, it's obviously like, Vector and Espio and Charmy have like the most different because you've got like weird objectives, but Sonic and Shadow is just normal and hard mode. And I, I kind of find that to, I don't want to say lazy. I don't think it's lazy, but it's a little sad. Like I, I like the 
either having different levels or very different versions of the same levels. Or one of the, my personal favorites was... Ow! Was definitely... Um, ow. Was definitely in Adventure 2 where they had like thematic stages, if that makes sense, but they were different. And I really like that a lot. The only characters who kind of had <sighs> stages that were a little too similar and not even in a bad way, I just think that they were more similar was uh, Rouge and Knuckles. They had a few stages, like it was like two, I think really, it was like their first. No, I guess it was really only the egg base stages that were kind of similar, but I personally really, I like Jive really hard with the thematic but different stage design thing. Like Sonic gets, ow. Sonic gets City Escape, but Shadow got Radical Highway. Kind of the same vibe, but it's like way different at the same time. I don't know, I always thought that was super cool. What about it? Uh, I think that game's not as bad as I remember. I, I played it on, on Dolphin Emulator on the channel and I feel like it wasn't as bad as I remembered, even though there's some really bad shit in that game. Uh, it's mostly how cringy and, and, and the fact that guns are like, this camera's fucking me up. Um, the, the guns and the ridiculous way that you have to actually get the ending is really obnoxious. But there are some levels that are legitimately fun and it's just Sonic uh, Heroes' control scheme, but like a little bit better. So I didn't like it very much as a kid. As an adult that tries to look at things more, more, you know, openly, I was like, you know what? I like some of the stuff in this game. <laughs> I still think it's like a five or a six out of 10. I, I feel like it's very average because of those problems, but there's some cool stuff in it for sure. And I really, I actually like the final, um... how do I? Oh, he just does it. Okay. Why can I go this way? Oh, there's a metal. Uh, look, there's only one thing I need to talk about with the cringe, right? There's only, there's one line in particular that I can always just, like, harken back to. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald, right? That's, <laughs> that's what I always, well, there's some other shit, but, you know. I, I think the game isn't terrible. I actually like I used to used to consider it about as bad as 06, but not not that bad because 06 is terrible, terrible. But uh, I don't know. Went back and replayed it and I was like, you know what? There's some cool levels. Like there's actually some good stuff and some of the boss fights are fun. I like the last boss. I thought I fell. I think the Eggman bosses are, are what are like really fun, but all of the freaking gun fights, like we have to fight the the gun uh, uh, mechas and stuff. Didn't I don't like those? <laughs> I don't like those. But Eggman fights are fun. Doom uh, at the end is fun. Uh, one game I didn't really like, even though it was beautiful, was Lost World. Yeah, that's fair. Lost World it barely feels like a Sonic game sometimes. I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's a bad Sonic game, if that makes sense. It's actually fairly polished. My dog just tooted. Um, it's actually pretty polished. It has great music, and unfortunately, the boss fights aren't good. The last boss fight's good, but every other boss fight was bad. They were just painfully easy and really repetitive. But the, uh, the music's great. The locales are really good. I just... For some reason, it wanted to be Super Mario Galaxy, right? Like, I don't understand why they did that, but it, at least it, I know it's weird to say, but at least, at least it functioned. You know what I mean? At least it wasn't broken. I'm trying so hard not to fall off. But honestly, for the Wii U, that game looks fantastic. And it only looks better on PC, not by a huge margin. Thanks, Chip. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you know there's some Sonic stuff in that game for sure. There, are, and I like the the charged up homing attack kind of vibe, you know, and the multi lock on homing attack kind of is cute, I guess. But 
Aside from the spin dash being legitimately fun, eh, you know, eh, the game is, eh, it's okay. Like, if I were to rate it, though, if I were to critically rate it, I think Lost World's like 7 or an 8? You know, I actually don't think it's a bad game by any means, but as a Sonic fan, I'm like, this is like a 5. <laughs> it's just so... Oh my god, why is the camera... Okay. camera was like the worst possible and you can't even like move it you just move it temporarily to be like hey, here's this off-screen enemy with this really horrible camera angle and this absolutely atrocious like i don't even know the the the, the angle also the camera angle but there's like uh, i'm drawing a blank on the word my verbiage is failing why sonic is failing me but it's like it's like too close yeah, it's just Mario. It really is just fast Mario Galaxy. And I barely even play. I'm not. I just don't really play a lot of Mario games. But uh, I didn't even play Mario Galaxy by the by the time that game had come out. I actually had not played Mario. I didn't play Mario Galaxy until like a year ago. I haven't even beaten it yet. Um, I like it, but I have not. I'm not a big, super big Mario dude. I like the, I like 2D Mario more than most 3D, except for like Sunshine and 64, like the obvious ones. <clears throat> Was this the end of the fucking stage too? Did I die right at the end? So I'm gonna get like an E. Anyway. I had not played Mario Galaxy, and even I was like, this is just Sonic Mario Galaxy. <laughs> like, I hadn't even played the game. I was like, what the fuck? Bosky. Give me my E rank. Can you believe it? I got D for dumb. <sighs> I can't believe I died at the end. I did not play Odyssey. Uh, I want to. My friend Renee played it, and she really enjoyed it. Uh, I think I want to play it like with her, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I have more fun playing Mario games with people, if that makes Like, just taking turns and having fun. I don't know what it is. I've just never been super into them. Uh, just not. The I, I've always liked a specific kind of platformer. I like really fast-paced stuff, or Metroidvanias, I think. And not to say that Mario is, like, super slow, but... Aside from a handful of the 2D games, I don't they're not super fast either. Not a bad again, it's just not not always for me, but I have been wanting to try to like get into them because I, I it's the same thing with like Legend of Zelda. I enjoy them, but I've had a hard time like sitting down and playing them by myself, if, if that makes sense. Welcome back, Simon. Mario Party and Kart, some of the best games to play with family, but I'm, yeah, those are not fun to play by yourself. You're right. I do love uh Mario Party. It's the most toxic shit. Uh, Sonic, I was waiting. Here, I've got something from the professor. I think he came up with something after reading more of the manuscripts. Well, this is it. Not sure what he expects you to use it for, but hey. Uncanny camera. Oh! Dude, that cutscene scared me. Let's dance the night away. I don't like a human calling Amy babe. Is there some kind of party going on? I didn't like that. No, something's not right here. Tales Adventure was a Game Gear game, right? Am I wrong? I think it was Game Gear. Uh, I don't know if you saw Samurai. Uh, they announced Sonic Origins Plus, sort of like Sonic Mania Plus or whatever. 
Uh, and it is actually going to add Game Gear games, and one of them, I think, was Tales Adventure. We saw the trailer earlier on stream. We uh, we looked it up because I saw a notification on my phone about it from the Sonic official YouTube, right? I think they're adding that game in uh, 11 other Game Gear games, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was one of them in the trailer. Get him, Sonic! Excuse me, sir, I really need this XP. Why did that one start, like, halfway down, bro? I would very much love to play a modern Sonic stage again. Uh, yeah, the Game Gear games are really cute. I like them a lot, too. I've just had a... I've always liked the Genesis ones. I think it's just, like, up for personal taste because they're very different, right? Uh, but yeah, if I'm, I mean, go watch the trailer. Don't don't buy it unless you want to or are sure. I'm not going to advocate you go spend money, but just go to their YouTube and you can find the trailer. I'm pr I'm pretty sure that it was one of the ones that was Wait in it up. though. Just now was that Sonic? I have like no memory of Tales Adventure though. I played the Game Gear stuff a little bit when I was little. Sonic. You know Sonic? Well, of course, he was here just a moment ago. Tell me what's happened to him. Please, tell me everything you know. I'll happily explain everything over a plate of cucumber sandwich. I like Professor Pickle. I don't know, he's he's funny. It's like, it's a good bit and it's used a lot, but it, it's, I don't know, it's good. Whoa, did you see that? That was amazing. This camera's incredible. Now you can help fix all the folks going a little bonkers at night. Just remember to go see the professor when you run out of flash uses. Flash. Is that what I have to do? Oh yeah, the mu- Oh, weirdly enough, I don't know if you heard about the thing where like some of the music uh, was, you know, it was some Michael Jackson licensing stuff in Sonic 3. It was two songs. I think it was Ice Cap and, and Launch Base Zone. It did weirdly at one point in the trailer, kind of at the bottom of the screen at the end, said something about classic music for some reason. So I don't know if they managed to get the rights back, but that would be cool. Don't, I'm not assuming, I just, it was just weird for them to write classic music in the, tr or to add it, right? So, I don't know. You again. We sure, uh, uh, we are sure do run into each other a lot, eh? I called it the fate. Now I'm talking to my friend, what those here, eh? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> hey, don't go scaring my friend here, eh? <laughs> I'm gonna get ate. Not again, one toast, don't run! <laughs> So I think for the story, I have to find these people acting weird, right? What the hell? Oh shit, I was reading chat. I was not paying attention. Yeah, I remember playing it, but uh, Tales of Adventure. But uh, sure has been a while. Oh my God. I did not mean to do this and I'm really upset that I did it. But I feel like I have to now, because Sonic would help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ignoring the fact that my voice is dying to the point that it cracked like that. Help! Yeah, uh, I'll have to definitely check the Game Gear stuff out when Plus comes out. I think, they, I think it's coming out on the 23rd, but I, maybe that was just the physical. Uh, but I played that Game Gear stuff very little. Like, I played it, um, probably beat them, I have no idea, because I was, like, five. But uh, I definitely I definitely remember them, because I always really liked the sprite art in them. It was it was very different than the Genesis art, obviously. Uh, but it was, it was endearing, you know, it was very cute. I think I remember really vibing with the music. I think I... I mean, that's Sonic games. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sonic games. 
even the Werehog battle theme is good. It's just insanely repetitive, right? Ugh. Is that a tune from another game? I was going to mention that earlier. It sounds like some Sonic Heroes stuff. Like, it sounds really good, but it also sounds really familiar. Okay, you know what? Getting them one Sun Metal out of that was worth it. This kid climbed all the way up here. Dude should go become a fucking Olympian, man. I really want to play a modern Sonic stage. Okay. I definitely want to get the shield at least up one level because, dude, those that guy was wiping my ass with my own ass. Um, I think we're doing plenty of damage. Let's get some health. And now, for once... I'll upgrade. I usually wait forever to upgrade him, but I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade him a little bit really quick. Um, mm. You know, the thing, I don't even hate... Uh, I was saying, I was talking about it earlier, I don't even hate the Werehog too much. Like, I do agree it would be way better if it had just been nothing but crazy cool modern Sonic stuff, right? But here's how I look at it. One, the beat em up stuff isn't that bad. It's just that the game runs badly. Two, if it had been Knuckles, if it had been Knuckles, that would have been really cool. Uh, and three, I feel like the platforming in it would be fun if it were not unresponsive. <laughs> but no, I definitely agree that it should just not have been a thing. Very well. Uh, Sonic. Uh... <gasps> Sonic. Whoa. Wait, are we... Are we about to get Dragon Road? Ooh, if we get Dragon Road Daytime... Before... Because that's like the best stage in the game. I... I liked Rooftop Run the most for a really long time. But eventually I was like, you know what? Dragon Road's the best stage in the game. It's amazing. So... Let's go do that. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's pretty much accurate. Yeah, because a lot of the powers are similar to his friends. Like, laser is essentially just the light speed dash, but way crazier, right? Please, for the love of God, let this be a, the daytime stage. I would really like that. I don't remember liking the nighttime, most of the nighttime stages. Okay, <clears throat> first, first thing first. Is that a metal? Hold oh, camera, please. Come on. Come on. It's gotta be somewhere. But yeah, uh a lot of a lot of critical response to 06 was that there was too many playable characters, and same with heroes, and that it was kind of making the game lose focus and stuff, so after 06 was also awful. You know, even though that's was more of a the game being forced out kind of problem. Uh, that's definitely why they moved away from it. Ah, uh, you were the guy who was scared my pal, Wentos, last time, eh? You got any idea how long it took to calm down? Right, Wentos. I'm gonna eat you. Sorry about before. No, 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 it's fine. Are uh, you okay to speak now, Wentos? Better for you. That's a good for today. Crazy, my blue friend. See you around, eh? Oh yeah, the ice level. We actually, uh, funny enough, when we came back uh, to this game after the Frontier stuff earlier, uh, that was actually what we did. We had the the ice cap, low sky, whatever, you know. Favorite is Jungle Joyride. OST is fire. You're right, man. Really, like, Rooftop Run, Dragon Road, and uh, Jungle Joyride are probably all the best stages. They're They're great. But thanks for hopping in and sticking around uh, all day, Simon, and modding chat and all that stuff. I have to go in a little bit anyway, so hopefully uh, we don't... Ugh. Guy, are you really going to talk to me? You can't come through here out of the question. Too dangerous. Access to the entrance stage is strictly forbidden without Lynn's permission. 
Are you Lin? Thanks. Welcome to Chunan. Only regret I am not able to give you the proper welcome. What's wrong? Well, you see, our village's most precious treasure is missing. The little elder went in search of it and did not return. Uh, we would go search for him, but monsters lurk outside the village. I'll find your elder. I love the that's too bad. You would do that? Oh, fortune has indeed smiled upon us. Heavens, look at me, getting all misty-eyed. Please, you must head to the entrance stage at once. What's the treasure? Ah, yes, a treasure. Good luck charm passed down for ages. We, uh, we credit it with having kept our humble village safe from disaster on the day the planet split apart, though. Rolled away and got lost. Well, no matter. Please, you must find it. I hope it's the day stage, because I don't know if I have time to do a night stage. Because I gotta pick up my part. I gotta leave in about 40 minutes, and those stages are fucking long. Okay, I'll find the Elder. Uh, the way they're describing it makes it sound like it's a nighttime stage, though. Sonic Racing was a cool game. Sonic Transformed All-Star was the best. Yeah, you're right, dude. I'm mad that that game is not like... I have it on PC, right? But I, I just... I, I wish it was just on consoles, because for me at the moment, I should say on modern consoles besides the Series X, uh, trying to set up those games... It's not convenient for me on, like, setting up a computer game anyway is not super convenient for me unless I'm recording or streaming or both. Uh, but All-Stars Transformed is, like, it's one of the best racing games ever made. It's just fantastic. I really liked Team Sonic Racing because the team mechanics were very cute. No. Oh, Sonic, you're going a little too fast, bud. Oh, no. Is it a nighttime stage, man? Or am I blind? Damn, he floaty as hell in this game. Uh, bonk. Yeah, you don't even, people don't even have to like Sonic to like that game. <laughs> it's just a good game. Oh, I'm sorry, not even Sonic. You don't even have to like Sega, like in general. It's just a great racing game. Camera, can you freaking move? Hello? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Unfortunate. Seems like I have to do the nighttime stage where I'm at four. Ugh. I don't want to risk getting caught up in stuff. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and call it here. We didn't get to play this as long as I wanted because the, the Frontier's uh, challenge modes were a bit more expansive than I thought. I mean, I knew the battle mode was going to be what it was, but I wasn't expecting to have to replay every cyberspace stage. It was fun, but I don't want to get caught up in a in a long... Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do more tomorrow. I usually schedule stuff uh, a day in advance at least. And love you all. Hope your dreams come true. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.